That was just... Just butt devastation. Every which way. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Rainbow Six Siege. Oh yes. Going with an old classic today, Mr. Rookie Rook. Um, yeah, paired with Doc. It should go pretty well. We got Frost, Pulse, and Smoke. Uh, I expect maybe Pulse to do some roaming, I guess, but uh, Frost and Smoke, both uh, two speed, two armor. Doc and Rook, both three armor, one speed, so we probably got a lot of home base players, which I guess is just fine. We're gonna make it work, that's for sure,sies. And this load is taking a little while thanks to some dudes on their team. But here we go. To protect the biohazard Another secure area, because it is my favorite game mode. Basically, um, one of the best. Bomb, everything's a little bit too spread out. Hostage, it's really fucking hard to, to get the hostage out of the room. Unless everybody's roaming, and you just run in there and, and swoop them. But, uh, secure area seems just a bit more fair, if that makes sense. Um, you know, everybody's alerted when somebody walks into the area. So, roamers turn back immediately. Sometimes I see people not get back in time, which is just fucking hilarious. <laughs> they're like way too far out, and then they're like, oh, oops, I guess I shouldn't be here. Getting no kills, doing nothing. The but it happens. At all it does happen, I suppose. The open, open a little hole. Maybe turn it into a murder hole. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. But yeah, um, really glad that to, to be Rook, especially on this map, because as I may have mentioned, it's got some very, very long hallways and angles to hold and things like that. So let's uh, let's hold up at this door. See if somebody wants to come this way. I don't hear nothing. So that might mean they spawned on the other side of the building. But I'm still, uh, still getting used to spawn points. Stuff like that. But it's a lot easier and casual because people don't get to pick their own spawn points. So you got five people coming from one direction. You can kind of nail down where the spawn point is. Although if I did play ranked, it would probably help me learn the uh, spawn points quicker. Oh my god. The phone in conjunction with the fuse charge just, uh, fucking obliterated my day. I think that got two of us. Look at that. that that's disgusting. I'm so sad now. We, we lost three team members. Early, early. First match. Fucking everybody's dead. <laughs> that's so ridiculous, dude. Are you kidding me with this shit? Oh, man. Uh, Doc got a, a kill there, which makes me feel kind of okay. Kind of wor worth uh, living now. I don't want to die so much. Uh, there we go, a little bit of stim for Docky Doc. Oh! And they got picked off real hard. Real hard! Rip it, rip it, real hard! That was a fucking painful match. That was just... Just butt devastation every which way. Wow. So this isn't this isn't panning out too well. But we'll see. We'll see. I'll do a little bit of Dokebi. Um I suck ass with her shotgun. But uh I kinda like it, you know? <laughs> it's pretty fun to use, especially when you get a kill with it. Generally though I'll find myself uh swapping to her little SMG. I'm really quite partial to um, to pistols and the like now. When I first started playing this game, I just wrote the smaller arms off, you know? Oh, they're not anything useful. But uh, you get into it a little more and you're like, holy shit, this thing can actually Locate snag some kills. Container. Especially like uh, the Russian PMM, I think that's what it is. Oh my god, that is like one of the best fucking pistols in the game. It kicks like a mule, uh, not as hard as like the Deagle. Only person I don't like to use pistols with is probably Valkyrie and uh, Blackbeard. Because that fucking 50 cal Desert Eagle just will break your wrists every fucking time. So they found the objective. I'm not going to go sacrifice my drone in there. I'm going to just hang out, farm a couple points and stuff. I thought that guy was shooting at me. And then I heard uh, one of my fellow drones explode next to me. So hopefully they ain't going to see me. Not too observant. 
it's really hard to, to spot a drone that's just sitting still, even if they got their little light on. So, um, yeah. Hopefully it'll be there when I need it, when we get a little closer to the objective. I also want to save my, uh, my phone call. My phone call powers for once we get inside the building, because they do have a Jaeger, a Bandit, an Ella, definitely somebody that's going to be roaming. Maybe three people that are going to be roaming, which... It's pretty interesting for secure area, but as I mentioned, um, yeah, it's a bit more fair with secure area. You're alerted when somebody walks into the objective, so you can come back from roaming relatively quick. Especially if you're a three-speed operator, you just like, boop, boop. Oh, hey, there's somebody roaming right now. <laughs> it's Bandit! Who's that Pokemon? It's Bandit! Oh, somebody stole my kill. Dicks. Well, I'm still gonna hack this phone. That's right. Access to your cameras. That was pretty lucky to just find that guy in the fucking first room I came through. But, uh, I'll take it. That's for sure, at least. Oh my god. I saw that guy on the stairs just a little bit too late. But yeah, lots of roamers, as I predicted. This game has become very roamer-centric, you know? Wow, I don't know how you hit a headshot from that far away. Fuck me. Well, there's somebody. Hey, is that, uh, Ella? I think so. Stand under my umbrella. Ella. Ella. Hey. <laughs> I don't know who that was, uh, creeping around in the upstairs. <laughs> Probably was Jaeger. Looked to me like Rook, but, uh, it's hard to tell from just looking at somebody's ass. And Ella's still chilling out. Or is that Rook? I'm so confused. I don't I don't even know. I know there's a person there. That's what that's all you really need to know. There's a person there, and they've got a gun, so probably be careful. And uh three V three now, so hmm. Carefully, everybody. That's definitely Jaeger. He's got like a stupid little helmet. Keep him marked. Go ahead and scan. Shoot out your own cameras if you want, boy. Y'all hacked up. Hacked up! Can't stop it. Somebody was walking through this arcade, but I think... If it was Jaeger, then he's he's moved on already. Really, uh, things shift quite quickly in Rainbow Six Siege. Give things a couple seconds. That dude ain't where the marker says he is. He knows that he got marked. He moved already. Um... Yeah, holding a new angle. And I can't really see anybody from here. Hmm. Yeah, we've got a, a 2v3 situation here. So we'll see if Thatcher and Twitch can take out these three. I really, really hope so, because uh, it's going to suck if we go into a match and we're 0-2. Then that basically diminishes all morale. <laughs> Oh god. Remaining. Oh god, it hurts. After the first match that we had, uh, it wouldn't surprise me. Luckily this Night Witches uh, is able to pick off Rook. So now they've got some three-speed operators, which can be really hard to deal with, but looks like she spotted one. Hey, Jaeger! How you living? And she's a little too far away, I think. Ten seconds left. To get in there in 15 seconds? Yeah, she's going too slow. So, 2 and 0, oh, I do think. We have God been damn! That's the, the difficult thing about Siege. You gotta push hard, you gotta push fast. You gotta push carefully, and usually you can only pick one of these, these above options. You know what I mean? Or two of these above options. And then checking the third option turns the first option off, etc, etc. What's that little meme? It's like, uh, I want things that are cheap. Was it cheap, fast, and, uh, quality? Good quality, cheap, and fast. Well, you can only pick two. Pick two! The other one is, is not selectable. The button gets grayed out, or something like that. Anyways, we'll go back to Rook. Uh, hopefully I can redeem myself just a little bit. Rook definitely can turn games around every once in a while. He's got the uh, the armor plates, so people go down but not out, and it also 
gives them an extra bullet um, in a gunfight. So that's pretty important. Hopefully it's gonna make the difference today. We've also got Doc, which is uh, quite a boon, if one would ask me. I really do like Doc. I don't play him as often as I play Rook, but um, he's certainly a powerful character to have on your side, especially when paired with Rook. Really, uh, yeah. Every time you see somebody picking Doc or Rook, you should pick the, the opposite or, yeah, the synergetic operator. If you see they pick Rook, you should probably go Doc. Or you can pick whoever you want. Like, obviously, the Smoke and Pulse, those are their favorite characters. So they, they or they're practicing with them. Not necessarily favorite, or I think they'd be doing better, but, um... We're all sucking here. We're all 2-0, oh, so who am I... Who am I to say? I see some people way over there from that spawn point over yonder. So, uh, let's... Yeah, they're probably gonna come from that way. So I shift just a little bit. And that Echo Drone's shooting off already? That's fucking crazy. I don't think anybody should be over here that fast. Impressive, Star Fox! He's a hacker. He's a hacker, that's for sure. I don't know what to tell you. Go ahead and uh, pop this off. Just in case somebody does try to be cute. Have to get through two doors! Ha ha! Can't stop me now. It'd be kind of fun to seal myself in that little room. Oh, I thought somebody got a kill, but uh, somebody just left the game. It happens from time to time, you know. You're like, hey, real life is calling. Alt F4. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Op 4 has spotted the I saw that container. person. This is gonna be sweet with the ACOG scope. Wow. Smoke just ate some shit. There's a Montaigne way over there. Hmm. Everything behind me is sealed, so I don't really need to worry about stuff coming from behind me as long as I can keep an ear out. But I am scared of glass with that fucking smoke. That was almost uh, a headshot, I feel. Use is wasting a couple charges. That's just fine. Doesn't seem like anybody's coming up from behind. This, this... Pulse is making me real nervous. He's just kind of stuck. From securing the biohazard stuck in a corner. Glaz hasn't pinned. Well, Glaz is dead now. Okay. We're looking in a, a little better shape. What's that fucking Montaigne again? Take him down. Alright. He's done. He's done. Everybody's good. I shot that Glaz just because I wasn't sure if he was uh, dead or not. Maybe somebody left him for me as a gift because uh, I downed that bandit in one of what was the last round. I downed bandit and wasn't able to get the kill because somebody else is like, Oh, mine! Ooh, I'm so hungry! Bitch, I'm hungry. Get out of my fucking face. Whatever. Like I always say, it's, it's about the team. It's about the team. How the team performs. We've all got to do our best. Luckily, uh, we didn't get shut down this round. I don't know what happened. People fucking flipped a switch or something like that. I haven't really, uh, had any effect on that outcome, I don't think. Except maybe my armor plates of power. Plus ten agility. Plus five strength. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, that, uh... That black Wit Rivia guy and the Night Witch are pretty strong players on this team, so I'm not expecting to surpass them on the scoreboard, but uh, I'll try. I'll definitely try. I've been showing Rook a lot of love lately. I've been practicing up quite a bit, so I'm gonna be Zofia. Um, not gonna use her light machine gun, even though it does have awesome capacity. Um, I think, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Theme park's not that big, I guess. It does have some, some wide hallways and stuff, but with any luck, um, it'll be useful to me. I've had a few situations where you just kind of fire maybe 10 or 15 rounds and then faint like you're reloading, and they'll peek around the corner and you just start firing again and fucking rip a hole through them. So that's kind of what LMGs are good for. Unless players are uh, good at telling the different sounds between the guns, 
which I assume that's a thing. I'm definitely not good enough to do that quite yet, but maybe someday I'll be like, oh, it sounds like Hibana's good. <laughs> no, at the moment I'm just like, mm, it's a shotgun, it's a pistol, it's a, it's a rifle of some kind. And uh, yeah, I can't tell the difference between rifles either. Is it a light machine gun? Is it an assault rifle? Is Well, I can tell the difference between an SMG. SMG shoot fast as shit, that's how you know. So I'll hide here amongst the trash because uh, that's how I've been playing today. Like trash. I really do like this uh, LMG. It's got a nice big magazine. I think uh, Capitaus has 100 in its in its magazine, and then this thing has 150, 151 with one in the chamber. It's pretty fucking sick. Pretty useful for the killings. And uh, I've got my little uh, shock shock charges or whatever, concussion grenades. That's what they're called. Oh, buddy! <laughs> I think that pulse off nice and early. Hooray! We're determined to do it. Five and three? Holy shit. Let's see if I can uh, shock somebody out and tell where they are. Seems nothing over there. Ooh! Somebody is directly that way. And then they shifted. Hmm. Five versus two. Five versus two. I'm gonna go over this way. Have fun, Fuse. Oh, I got hit by an EDD. Fucking cap can. Is he still up? Doesn't matter. I'm gonna get rid of some EDDs for my team. -y. My team -y mates. And now five and one again. Holy shit. Just, uh... Oh, wow. Got him. <laughs> Saw him at the last second, like, mid-sentence. I'm like, oh, wait. Um, yeah, it's just like a flip got switched on our team. And now everybody's like, we are not going to lose this shit. Or maybe it's like uh, a change out of people or something like that. By some miracle, I'm in second place. So, uh, go for me, go for me, go for me. Final round. Final round. Fight. I'm going to pick Rook again because I've picked him for every defense thus far. Kind of been switching up attackers a little bit, but Rook is just... One of my favorite defenders, if you want me to be real honest. He is sexy, sexy man. And he's got uh, that armor plating, which is Secure just inherently the useful. The and it's uh, it's completely distributed right at the beginning of the rounds. After your, your skill is all used up, you're basically just another soldier, you know what I mean? Which uh, takes a lot off my mind. <laughs> If you got somebody like, um, yeah, Smoke or somebody, you want to stay until the round is absolutely over so you can hold people off the objectives with your smoke grenades or something like that. With Rook, it's like, yeah, okay, I'll die early. I don't give a fuck. I don't think anybody has barricades left for that wall over there. Mm, I'm going to occupy this room. I'm predicting that they're going to come down through the uh, ceiling hatch, as I've seen many times before. So, this room has a really nice view of the stairs and uh, of the ceiling hatch once they drop down. Oh, come on, Frost. What the fuck? Put your shit right in the way. Okay, thank you. Thank you for taking a clue. No! God damn it! You ruined everything. You ruined everything for me. Oh, she put it somewhere else. Thank God. Pick off that drone. Reload. Maybe that'll help in some way I can't predict. Who knows? Who cares? What the fuck ever. So, uh, here we are. Probably gonna spend most of the match just lounging about. Laying on my back. Or my stomach. But really, you want to be laying on your back, because, uh... If you're prone and your head is towards the enemies, obviously it's going to be way easier for them to hit your head. If your feet are towards the enemies, they're going to hit you either in the feet or the dick. Your head is popping up a little bit too, but it's definitely not as easy as if you're just laying with your fucking... your face presented to the enemy. And yeah, just as, just as I predicted, uh, Fuse is fusing through the hatch. So, if he decides to get cute and jump down... I'm right here. 
If you decide to come over the on this staircase, I'm right here. Rook is the man. And the ACOG scope is just so sick. Nobody else got an ACOG scope. Nobody else is a three armor operator. That's me. That's me, baby. Me. I wonder who forgot to get their fucking armor, too. It always annoys me when somebody's, uh, not got... Oh, hello. <laughs> oh my god. That was glass. Totally glass, but, um, yeah. I fucked that up pretty hard. And it seems like, uh, that Blackbeard got taken down relatively easily. Oh my. This is gonna be a close one. 3v3. Hey! Blackbeard's back. <laughs> and, uh, a little bit more. Injure assist. I think somebody got blown up by, uh, a cap can trap. So that's pretty sweet. Frost is taking my stairs action. I, is that glass dead? I don't know, we don't have any of them scanned, so it's hard to tell. That probably would have been a good idea early in the match, but they've been doing relatively well at taking down the cameras too, so... I don't know. It be what it be. Oh, there's Ash. Oh, and she's the last one. I guess the last guy was bleeding out. It was a cap can trap. Ho ho ho! So we did pretty good. Got a few kills there, second place. I'll take it any day of the week. So friends, this has been another episode of Rainbow Six Siege. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and to subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. We've also got Twitter, Discord, Patreon links all down in the description. If you could support me on any of those, that would be just wonderful. I would thank you so, so much. Anyways, I do hope that you've enjoyed. I will see you in the next one, friends. So, until the next time, bye-bye. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.